Hello, can you hear me now? Oh, there, that's much better, much better. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. I just have to choose my... Yeah. Uh, let me get my sound. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just a second. I adjust you a little bit more. Okay. Um, what I want to do today is um, walk you through the. Oops, just a second. What's up? I'm on. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, um, what? Uh, my goal for today is to walk you through what I did on what I guess we're gonna call recipes. Okay. Okay. Is that name okay with you for now? Yeah. All right, all right. So okay, so we call them recipe. They're still going to call it, be called extended bills on the screen right now, but I'll change that later. So what what uh, what I want you to do is um, go to the prototype site and log in, and then uh, share your screen with me. Okay. <coughs> Just a second. I'm just on the meeting page for now, and uh, okay. insert link. All right, this is done. So GitHub. Bob, will you have some time next Sunday to uh, <clears throat> uh, connect with us at the lab while Michelle Bowens is there? On Sunday, sure. Sunday nine nine a.m., nine ten a.m., something like that. In the evening. A.m. It's uh in the morning. Yeah. A.m. Yeah. Uh, well, wh when you get when you get the time set, why don't you send me uh, an invitation? Or well, is that set the, is that set enough? So should I just put it on my calendar now? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be nine, nine thirty, ten, because Michelle is coming from downtown with the metro. I'm gonna pick him up somewhere. So we don't know how well it will, uh, um, you know, adapt to Montreal public transportation. And yeah. um, but that's that's the time he's gonna spend a whole day with us, uh, and in the morning we'll be at the. Uh, um, at the lab. Okay. Okay. So we share the screen here. I open the page. Yeah. And I logged. Share. <clears throat> so I'm logged in. Okay. Now, uh, you notice on the on the uh, lower left, uh, um, or you're logged in. Yeah. Cl yeah. Click on yes. that. Re click on that resource types. Oh, lot of buttons here. That's new. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, so now, well, this whole page is new. Okay. So, okay. So, what do you what you got here is you you can uh, you can uh, create resource types. You can change resource types. You know, like you can change their photo and uh, <laughs> URL and you know and bunches of different things like that. And then you can also uh, create or change um, recipes because they're you know they're still called extended bills now, but they will be called recipes uh, later today. Okay. So um, now, okay, the state of this is uh, it does work. Um, I have tested it quite a bit. Um, what's missing is I don't do any field validation at all. So you're gonna, you, you can very easily get all kinds of weird errors if you don't 
you know, if like if you type letters into a numeric field or you don't enter mm -hmm. a, a, a required field and, I, and you're not going to even know what's required. I mean, it's like, it's, a, it's so, so just put something in every field, <laughs> you know. Okay. okay. And, and I, what I'm working on, I'm wor what I'm start, I started working uh, uh, this morning on, on getting field validations in, so then they'll be, they'll be in pretty quickly. Uh, uh, you know, might me today. It's the, all this stuff is is um, uh, the the way that I'm doing this stuff is is slightly experimental. So it takes a little bit l longer for me to get the patterns together than it usually does. So it might take today and tomorrow to get all the field validations working. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> and after I get that working, then I would think it would be uh, possibly ready for somebody else to try. Now, one of the questions here is, is um, how much time do you have to experiment with this? Well, as long as it takes, right? Hmm? Um, I can, uh, I mean, experimentation, I would like uh, to make it um, not just experimentation, but at the same time, let's say, to populate this list with uh, stuff that we already have. So well, as I'm putting data into the system, I'm experimenting yeah. at the same time. So I can take on that task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't go too crazy uh, uh, populating it with data. You know, do some experimenting. Do, but do some real stuff that you want to do. Yes. You know, because otherwise, because otherwise, you won't, it, it, you won't run into the kinds of uh, situations where you say, well, you know, geez, I wish it did this. You know, or I wish it had that, or I wish it did this a little bit differently. You would just be testing the app. You know, I want you to test it from the standpoint of I actually want it to have this information in it and you know this also would be useful or maybe this could be different. Okay? So okay. so I, I will respond also to feedback from you. I will respond. I'm around, okay? So I, I, I'm not, I'm around during the morning today. Um, I got a big chore to do in the afternoon you know but most of the time I'm I, most of the time I'm I'm pretty much around uh, uh, I will uh, give you uh, a, I will send you uh, a couple of phone numbers in an email so you'll have them you know so if so if I'm not at the computer you know you can still get a hold of me if you run into problems because I want to expedite I want to expedite this right now uh -huh. Oh, this is now we're actually we we are now actually start going to start a feedback loop, you know, and so you get the under you'll get some feel for how the feedback you know both of us will get some feed for how the feel for how this particular feedback loop will work, and so then once you and I go through this and I get the field validations in there and I respond to some of your initial uh, questions, problems, suggestions for improvement, whatever. Then, then we want to get somebody else to try it. Now, who else would be a person that would be that would be uh, um, uh, uh, Francois? Yeah. Excellent. Great. Okay. Okay. So, so now the state of the of the system right now is um, I'm using a toy database because it's. It, it's really faster for me to develop doing that. Uh, um, so it doesn't, it's, it, it slows down if more than one person is using it at the same time. Uh, so, so y you know, so basically it's like the way this would work best is you do your experimenting and then Francois does his experimenting and, you know, basically you trade off so only one of you is doing it at a time. Otherwise, it, it won't fail. But it will just run very slow, and it might give you some uh, some timeouts. Uh, and then once we get to the point where this is ready for you guys to to start doing more 
people having more people you know things settle down the database design is fairly stable then I'll set you up with a uh, 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 industrial strength database you know that will handle as many people as you can throw <coughs> at it okay all right yeah uh, uh, so, th so the one at a time is like that's just for now. That's that's th 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 this early stage when we're making a lot, a lot of changes. Um, so, um, I but before Francois gets there, I will also set it up so that if you encounter a uh, server error, uh, uh, the system will send me an email with all the error details. Um, so, so th that's a, that's another thing that I need to do before we want to start getting a bunch of people testing it. It won't ha that won't happen right now. So, so if you get odd errors, they might say that uh, don't. It might say something like the the administrators are uh, are, uh, are aware of this and are taking care of it, and mm -hmm. uh, that will not be true okay. yet. But it will be true pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what about the feedback loop? Uh, is there a space for that, or is it just communica email communication and phone call? Oh, uh, the I I th well, we don't actually hear a, a space for that would be really good. Uh, there is the um, uh, why don't for for now because now we're talking about the software. You know, we're not talking about um, the uh, the um, um, you know, philosophical issues, or you know, what's happening with uh, with your business plans, or stuff like that. So, 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 why don't this is the 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 perfect time to use the GitHub issues list. You will see on the GitHub project. You know, you'll see that there is a uh, that there is an issues tab. I go there. Yeah. Actually, it's linked from the front page of that uh, of the system to the prototype too. Ah, I lost your uh, screen share, but that's all right. Well. Yeah, uh, I want to. Yeah, when I'm to going too fast between wind, when I'm going too fast between window, that it uh, drops off. I don't know why. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Watch, yeah, go go to the front page of the of the uh, uh, of the uh, prototype. Second. Oh, there. Uh, okay. What is this? Uh, uh, just, just get out of here. Um, you're not looking for. Yeah. Okay. Just click on the value accounting up at the top, up top left. That gets you to the home page. Oh yes, yes, this one. Oops. Wait a second. Or, or just, or just click the ba the back button. Oh, there we go. Okay, you found it. Okay, this is this. This is this. Okay, so yeah, there's the issues. Is oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. So okay, so that's uh, that's I. Um, yeah. Now we we should do it. We should. Uh, 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 before we go too far with this, you know, when you get your first issue, uh, try that out and see. I don't know if it's if it's require. I don't know if it requires. <coughs> see, let's. Can you can you raise an issue? Let's see. Can you? Maybe you can't. Maybe you have to. Oh, maybe you. No, new issue. Can you see new issue up there? Click on the new issue button. Yeah, they're gonna cl click on that. Oh, yeah, and see, yeah. if, see if you can raise a new issue without having a GitHub account. 
No, but I, but I need to sign in anyway. Uh, did I make the... Okay, okay so... Okay, so... Uh, um, okay, so, for, so... Okay, so forget that. Forget that. Uh, uh, let, let's let's not okay. So let's do it on. Uh, um, let's yeah, do it on. Account. Yeah, but every, then everybody else has that I have an account that wants to raise issues. You know, it's a it's it's a pain. So okay. let's let's do the do it on the Sensorica infrastructure page. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, all the Sensorica people can uh, edit that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have this one here, so... Yeah. So should I put... Uh, should we add something here, like issues, or...? <clears throat> um, yeah, maybe you should... Yeah, maybe issues, software issues. We can put it in the pad. Okay. Yeah, make it your software issues because you're gonna have a lot of other issues, and I'm not gonna look at them. Okay. All right. Okay, so l let me take you back to the uh, to uh, the to that um, resources resource types page. All right. Yeah, just a second. Uh, <coughs> and I put this thing in here. I mean, I do think eventually that what you want to do is is what you will want to do is have a Sensorica GitHub account, but it's not necessary now. Okay. You know, let's push it. That's that's past where we're at. Okay, so go to the go to the uh, resource types page. <coughs> okay, so what? Okay, so what I would like you to do first, just while while we're sitting here, is um, uh, create a new resource type. This is just for practice. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything real. Uh, um, Although it could be, actually, you could take you could take any of these. You, why don't you, yeah, you could take any of these. Let, let's forget that. Okay, take something that you want with that you think you know how to how to do the uh, the uh, uh, do the recipe for. <coughs> okay. Um, you, you know that you, know, you want to start doing it. Uh, or take something that has a photo and you want to change the photo. Okay, first of all, let me ask you a question because I see here yeah. uh, some of these things are uh, project deliverables and they're materials and some of them are activities like experimental work. Uh, <clears throat> sure, yeah, yes. Yes, they're all resource types. We may only want to have, uh, we may want to filter this so it's only some types of, uh, some resource types on here, but right now it's everything that's in the system. Okay, so you can, okay, put categories and you can browse categories, right? And and go deeper into each one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you have time, training, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, I understand. Okay, so now. Yeah, yeah, training. so. So so yeah, we we want to filter the 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 uh, filter them. Yes. Let's try the lever, for example. Name, okay. Parent. Uh, parent is a joint type transmitter. Unit. Oh, what is this? I would say, <coughs> what is the unit of this one? Is what is E A? Each. Okay, so each means like it's 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 an item, right? Yeah, yeah, discrete items. You could that's all changeable. 
the, you, you can <coughs> add units or change the names of units and whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so here's where you can change the picture, right? This is yeah. Here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you choose a file. You want me to try that? Or? If you like. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't have a file now. And if I say, oh, so you can also choose a URL if you don't want to use a file. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> you can also use a URL if you don't want to use a file from the computer. Uh, at this moment, it, it's not, th that is not uh, uh, accepting uh, URLs for photos. Uh, it should, but it doesn't. Okay, let's try this one. Open. <coughs> let's see if it's uploading it. All right, so I, I changed the file with something from my computer. I don't know if it uploads it. Um, yeah, it will. And then you you can add a add a U URL for you, you know for to one of the pages uh, uh, that you got there. That would be like the 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 rel the the uh, uh, the you know the extended instructions the 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 the, the long version of the instructions for making this. <coughs> or, oh, yeah, or, may, or maybe, or maybe, there, or, or at least long versions of the explanation of what this is, because there's also the process for making it. You know, which you're gonna, which you're gonna, which you're gonna. Uh, uh, Even here, also. in hmm? the description, in the description. Uh, no, don't do this process for making it here. That's going to be a different object. Okay. You got a URL? Yeah, uh, the URL is, is the page where it lives, or? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. OK, so let me go here and try, and try project. <coughs> yeah, this is cool. And I think uh, that, that's a good way of doing it, because Sometimes I find myself wanting to put data into the system, mm -hmm. um, you know, activities, projects, uh, uh, and yeah. you know, I can use the old um, spreadsheet structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and I always ask, you know, myself, should I continue to work on that or maybe use the new system? And I think this is the way to test it, you know, uh, ask to put data into the system and and see. Uh, I yeah. works to give you feedback on that. Okay, yeah. Joy, I, Joy. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You lost your screen share again. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I, so I, I, the... I think that um, the new system is not ready yet to be your system of record. <coughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay. So go ahead and uh, uh, scroll down to the bottom and save your changes. And let's see if that all works. This is going to be a little slow, okay? The changes take place fairly slowly right now. I'll speed that up later, <coughs> but uh, uh, it's uh, we're going to be changing stuff too much. Uh, the the uh, to uh, uh, all right. So now, where is our where is our uh, what did we change? We change the lever, I think. Okay, so where is the lever? These things are these things not by. Uh, Should I uh, reload the page? Uh, no, okay. it ju it just did reload the page. Let's scroll down. 
Because I don't see the where? lever. Yeah, where's what happened to the lever? Let me see. Let me see what happened to the lever. Something happened. Um, I can try to refresh if you want. No. Uh, no. Uh, let, let, let me see what, let me see, figure out what happened. <coughs> Something weird. Of course, as soon as I show this to somebody else, then it goes gets weird. <laughs> it sounds like that, eh? Uh, yeah. No, your your changes took place. Now, why are they not showing on that page? Okay, d just just sit tight. Let me. Um, it did. It should have. Re no, it's not showing up. Why not? That is very odd. Uh, let me look at the code and see if I could figure out why that would be. Oh, I know, I know what happened. Hang on. I know what happened. Did you make the joint shape transducer the parent of the lever? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, that's not that's not what that's for. I just fixed it. Okay. Now you can uh, now you should be able to uh, refresh your page. Okay. All right. So it updated the the, the uh, picture, and my description is here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So so the parents of of uh, of I should probably change the name of that uh, um, or change how we do that but basically uh, uh, the the parent is like a category you, you know yeah. so it's not the the the, the um, yeah I gotta change the name of that because that's ca that's causing you to think of a that's a bill of material relationship. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Exactly. It's not. It's it's uh, um. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to change that completely. That's basically that's basic. That's going to be totally misleading to everybody. Uh, uh. Yeah, just parent for now. Forget it's there. I'll have that. I'll have that. Uh, that uh, uh, changed. Um, I'll have that out of there for now. Because basically, what we're going to want, we're going to want some kind of categorization, and so that I'll change that to category. That's really what I mean there. Okay. And then. So these then, are like tags. Maybe it's, a, it's the tag thing. You add a tag to it, or. What? It's like tagging. Uh, uh, we can do, do tagging too, but tagging is different than than categories. Tagging is categories are fairly formal, and tags are informal. Okay. Can people adapt these categories, or they're they're set? Uh, uh, I I I'm gonna the, 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 uh, by the time you don't even have to say don't don't use parent 
uh, 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 because by the next time that any by the time anybody else sees this, that'll be gone. Okay. It'll be okay. gone later today. Okay. So. So so okay. So we want we want to have we want to have uh, resource type categories. And then and then then we say like what categories do you want to see there? Uh, okay. okay. Can we name a few now so we can uh, that can help you? Can we name a few just to get you started? Maybe we can brainstorm past like activities. No. No. I by the time I'm I'm not uh, no, by the time uh, it's going to be user uh uh it's it's going to it's just going to be it's going to be something that you can define yourself. You know, you can okay. use whatever you know, it's it's going to it's it's going to be you you guys you guys can just can just uh can just you don't have to you, you don't have to you won't have to tell me at all. Okay. Not in my territory. Okay, so let's let's go back. I want to make sure that this stuff is going to work for you here. So, so go back to that resource types page. This, I mean, this is the kind of thing I want to surface right now, so that it'll be used. Okay, so take the lever and click on the create extended bill. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so this button here you get to back to change this. You can change it again if you want. Okay. However, but now what we want to do is we want to create a process, the the definition of a process to uh, create levers. Process type is like the definition of pro. You're going to have many processes to create levers. This is the the, the process type is the definition, you know, uh, of all of those those processes. So I should click on this? Yes. <clears throat> so this is a generic name for this yeah. process. Yeah, this is like make levers or something like that. All right, all right, I got it. So oops. Okay, so it's uh Okay, it's good. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh do you have a a rule how to name stuff like capital letters, small letters? Well, I've just been I've just been calling them makes whatever, make levers or whatever, make levers or you know, whatever you know you can work you can work work out your own names. What about parent here? Okay, okay. Now parent here is it means something different, but just ignore it for now. So this is bill of materials, right? No, this is not. This is this is like the. This is like that. Ex this would not be part of a bill of materials, but it is part of an extended bill or recipe because now you're getting into. This is not the materials. This is the process by which you do that. Make this. This is this is how do you make a lever? Okay, so the description here. Should I put a list of sub? Uh, processes or uh, well, well, we can we can uh, we could have sub processes uh, explicitly, or you know, or you could. It sort of depends on what is the most useful. Uh, in in other words, those could all be th those could all be actual. Uh, um, Process types, you know, they could, they could, they, it, where, where the, the, it, it, where the, they, the, where the parent could be the, the make levers. Okay. Uh, or, or they could just be steps in here that are just text descriptions. It depends on whether you want to, um, um, have, have assign specific, uh, um, inputs to each of those steps. You know what I mean? You you'll figure this out. You, you know. Is this is this right? What I'm writing now? Uh, it depends. It depends. Uh, will you have? Is it important for you to? The, let's see. Let's take. Let's take a look at the. Let's let's take a look at the. Uh, 
at the uh, what are the inputs to this process? Inputs as material or as other processes? Everything. Okay, so don't 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 no don't add them here. Just no. I'm I'm just asking you. Okay, so materials uh, you need glass fiber, you need the shrinking yeah. tube. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, you need uh, all the chemicals to do fiber coating. And yeah. then processes are, you know, uh, preparation of the fiber, which is cleaving and, and cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's optical fiber coating. So that mm -hmm. requires some um, equipment that we mm -hmm. build for optical fiber coating and all the chemicals. Mm -hmm. And the process is the optical fiber coating process. And then you have the mechanical as assembly of uh, the lever with the delivery fiber. Uh, using as materials the shrinking tube and another device, which is the you know the mini oven and so on, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and we can call this process shrinking. So what what you have here in this list are two processes: optical fiber coating and shrinking, which are main processes. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, I could add the materials. so is 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 the first one you're actually you're you're actually uh, preparing a, a an optical fiber. Um, as a as a component of the lever, yes. Okay, that should be that should that th that we want to make into a separate resource type for now, and I want which I will explain. Oh, okay. Okay. okay so so let's <coughs> let's let's leave all of this stuff here for now, and okay. and then I'll, I'll explain how this stuff goes. So okay. you can you can you can put. A URL in there if you want, um, and an estimated duration if you want, or ah, okay, this is nice. Uh, this is the lever duration. Francois says, okay, let's make um, the, uh, okay. So what is the uh, data format here? If I put, it's in minutes. Is this is this right, or I can I have That's, to write it? It's it's in minutes. You see it right below there. So is so, this a format of minutes you want, or yeah? So if you want, yeah. So if you want thir if you want half an hour, just just type in thirty minutes. Thirty, ah. the number thirty. Not don't. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Okay. 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 Maybe we should put a maybe we should put a an example. You know, for formatting. Mm hmm. You'll figure it out. Suggest suggest format. Yeah. Okay. Is there a space between thirty and min or is the space there? What? It's just an average, just 30, yeah? There's no min. I, I don't understand. It's not 30 min. No, just 30. Just 30, okay. Okay, and then for the quantity, oops, for the quantity, just put it one, because you're going to make one lever through this process, right? At a time. What, what if you make a, a, make a just, batch? Well, just uh, the, you, you, that that'll the, 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 just yeah, just do quantity and then each yeah. Okay, yeah. so I just, I'm just seeing here uh, this each is not consistent with the other one, so maybe we should. Yeah, I don't know why that isn't, but but I'll okay. check I'll check that out. I'll check that out. Okay. That that's a that's a that's a uh, that's a bug. It is actually consistent. Okay. <laughs> okay, so okay, so save those changes. All right. So oh, now this is how you build the uh yes. but in order to yes. do the other categories, so okay. So what I'm what I'm seeing here is that that description window that we had. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you can actually extend it by clicking here, right? Yeah. Now you say, "Here's what are your inputs." 
Oh, so it's a sort of a recurrent function, right? And you can embed. Yeah. Yep. I got yep. it. So. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay. So this is how you build it up. It's a recurrent function. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you? Uh, because now we can only dig deeper and deeper and deeper. How can we have parallel processes? How how can you what? So what I'm seeing here is that this process make levers. I can now edit it. But how can I have two? Can I put two processes here. Oh uh, yeah, you can add another process. That you know, what what it is what is it that you want to do? Mirror. Let's say mirror, right? Add, add put put one of the put one of the inputs in. Put one of the material inputs in. Mirror. Uh, uh, okay, so so you got your resource type there. Let's see if we got mirror out there as resource type. Just click yeah, on the, yeah. it's a, it's okay. There you go. All right. So uh, and then the what's the relationship? The the lever to the mirror. Check, check the see what the relate what relationships I got out there. It consumes, okay, so right? a consumer mm -hmm. mirror. Okay, yes, and it's going to use one one mirror. Okay, one mirror, unit each. Yeah. Save. Yeah, and there, the, yeah, the e then each, the, the each is being very inconsistent there. I'm not sure what I did, but something. Okay, so now you got the now you got the mirror. And wow, that's, this is cool. Okay, so now you probably that's probably the wrong photo for a mirror, right? Okay. Yeah, I can change that mirror. Yeah, so. yeah, you can just change it right there. Oh, I can change it here. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. You can do that over on the resource type page. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But but any rate, any rate now, now uh, okay. So so now, do you have a process by which you make the mirrors? Yeah. Okay. So add a cr process to create mirrors. Ah, so I put it in right. Yeah. Make mirror. Oh, it's make mirror. Yeah. Okay. And don't worry about parent yet. Don't okay, okay. on these either, because because these are this is not what we're these are these. Okay. This is this is the description of how you make a mirror. Yes. Yeah. I put the URL to the process. Yeah. Estimated time duration. Oh, yeah. okay. I see something here. Uh, yeah. I, see, I see a suggestion here right away. Uh, so let's say per mirror, let's say 10 minutes. Okay. Only one. Yeah. Each. Uh, <clears throat> I have a suggestion here. So yeah. as we dig into processes, <coughs> Can the parent inherit the duration, which is a sum of all the other durations? I'm going to get rid of the process parent for now too. Although I actually have a use for that one, but but I'm not. I'm going to get rid of it for now. These are not parent-child relationships. Okay, so I'm still getting confused here with that. Uh, but but still, you know, you have sub processes, right? Because now we're digging down into sub processes. Yeah, these are not sub processes. Okay, I have Alex, a verb here: make mirror. Yeah. Yeah. It's a resource. Yeah. The 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 if if if. I I I will explain the difference between sub processes and what we're doing here. <clears throat> what okay. we're doing here is we're is we're building process output input relationships, which are different from sub processes. 
and we will use subprocesses at some point possibly but the, that's that's not what we're doing yet input output uh, okay isn't that the same type of relation if you say a process requires input from another process is a sub process um, um, n n n no uh, a, a sub process um, it, it would be where the um, wh where the the <coughs> the uh, um, you don't you you don't have a separate output that goes into if you have if if I'm making something where in this case I'm I'm create I'm making a mirror okay then that mirror gets assembled into the lever correct yes okay so in that case my the the make mirror has an output of the mirror and then that mirror goes into the next process which is assemble the lever you know make the lever uh, so so it, it's so like those are separatable you know okay like, okay y y you know if it's if it was a sub process it would not be separatable it would just be it would just be part of the other process you know and okay. and, and it th th this a fine distinction but it will become clear to you over time. Right now, it's like I'm going to get rid of the parent in processes as well. So, so the the um, so that because those are just confusing right now. But in both cases, okay. they they you know the the uh, the uh, uh, and, and you know there's going to be a few cases like this now where we're walking through it and I'm seeing where okay that's confusing I didn't I didn't quite get it before because I'm not confused you know but it's going to confuse anybody else so yeah yeah, yeah. okay so any, anyway let's go back to our uh, to our ex ex edit extended bill page and finish what we were doing. Okay, I think I, I understand what you're saying. <coughs> so let's go here. Okay, so make mirror. Okay, so that's done. <coughs> no, it's not done yet. Okay, so okay, so okay, so so okay. There, there. Okay, so there we go. Don't use the parent. Okay, go down and save that. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. It updated. Okay, so now we have now we have the, the a process for for making the mirror. All right. Now, what are the inputs for making a mirror? In terms of uh, whatever, what does it take to make a mirror? Wait a second. Why is this here? Uh, whoops. I can't do that. And okay, okay, okay. it's coming. Uh, what is what is this here? Add a source for mirror. Uh, that's it. A source is is where you're gonna you're gonna uh, um, if it's a material. A source is is somewhere is someplace some agent that you can just get one ready made from. You don't have to make it. You know, you buy it or somebody's got one and they do a donation, contribution, material contribution or whatever. So the source there should probably be gone. That's that that was that was something that I added once upon a time just because <clears throat> that was that was um But isn't that so, uh isn't that pertinent enough? I mean, if there is an item that we can just source, uh, you know, buy it from a supplier, yeah, isn't that fine. That's a source. That's, that's a source. Yeah. However, right now, we, the source for the mirror, being Sensorica, you actually make it. So, so, so I'm, I'm just, just give me a minute here, and I will. So, what if we put Sensorica there? Uh, I well, yeah, yeah, but you you're, you're, um. Um, let's 
Just give me a minute. Okay, now refresh your page for your extended bill for a lever. I'm making changes on the file. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just doing it behind <laughs> the scenes. <laughs> okay. You're the wizard, Bob. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a super user here. You are too, by the way. But you don't, uh, so I have superpowers. <laughs> you you do also, but you haven't learned how to use your superpowers yet. Yes. So <laughs> knowledge is everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um. So so any, any anyway so so yeah, add an do the add an input to the make mirror. Okay. So. And you lost your screen share again. Oh. Uh, okay, let me cancel this. Uh, let me go here. Screen share. Uh, I, I want you to do two things when you're adding inputs to Mirror. I want you one. I want you to do a, uh, a labor input. Actually, three things. Uh, uh, if if you got somewhere here, I want you to add a labor input. I want you to add a device or equipment input, and I want you to add a material input that you buy somewhere here. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> so now, yeah. If these were categories, I think would be much more uh, intuitive because. Now you could suggest, you know, at that level, you know, you could suggest, like we said, you know, we need now materials, we need, what did you say, materials? Well, I, I just, you know, you know what, what you need to do this. I just want you to do this. I want you to do this now because I want you to understand what the possibilities are. Okay, All right? So you know, the and first, then... What's the first category I should uh, add here? It's not a category. I just want you to... to I, the, 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 I want you to add a uh, labor input. You know, okay, just, just, yeah. So, so on the, the resource type t type is probably, uh, I think it's called time spent or something like that. Is what I just picked okay, up. Okay, got, got, got it. Got it. Got it. Yes, right. time spent. Yeah. Okay. So the relationship then is, is you're going to consume that time. We consume that time. Quantity. And then how how the, the, the you know in the, this would be the, the, this would be like hours I think the it's hours so how, how many hours? Okay, and what if it's Co half an hour? So select select the unit because I think you, I think hours is probably the unit that's out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then how many hours would you would you would it take to one hour to make a mirror? Or? Just to make one. Yeah. Well, what if it's uh, ten minutes? How do I do it? Zero point something or? Yeah. Uh, um. It's uh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. What? What? Uh, let me see. What is the format? Hang. Hang on. I'll tell you. Uh -huh. And yes, I'll. I'll do better on. Uh, Describing this field, right? Uh. Uh. Um, it's uh, point one seven. Okay. Okay. All right. So so save changes. All right. You see, this is where we can get confused because <clears throat> uh, Francois wouldn't know to what to put in here. Uh, so that's why you know I think resource types should be categorized, and then once you reach uh, you know this stage, for example, you have some suggestions popping up saying, you know now we need uh, you know to we need you to input like time and you know um, 
what what kind of what what parts go into that thing. You see what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't know the next steps here. You know. Well, you know, you, you, the, I I I'm I'm I, I'm re reluctant to do that yet because you don't understand enough. You, you don't get the pattern, the feel of it yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, so once you get the feel of it, then then we can say, okay, do we need more? Do we need more of a guide for how people to do this? You know. But right now, I, okay. I want mm -hmm. you to just basically do it free form. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, uh, um, I'm gonna. Okay. So now you got now you got that that input. Now I want you to add another input to make mirror. Okay. And now this now a material input is there a material input that you would buy there? Yes, optical fiber. Okay, okay, so yeah, so optical fiber is actually in the system. So it's yes. optical fiber and then uh, uh you could, would consume it in there, you know, okay, so how much? And I think there's millimeters in there. Oh right? yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, millimeters and Francois put something. Yeah. <clears throat> and we we don't we don't know you know so just if you don't know just plug something in and somebody can fix it later. Okay, yeah. so okay, so save that. Ah, okay, got it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so now are there any are there any tools or equipment that you use to make a mirror? Yes. Okay, so add another input to make mirror. Let's see, do we have it? I wonder if we got it in there. What what is it that you're looking for that you want? Um the tools is the optical fiber coating uh, device. I don't see it here. No, okay, so we're gonna have to add that. So cancel this for now. Okay. Okay, so now just leave this up and, and uh, um, open another. Take, take, go to the value account. Go back to the, but do that in a separate tab. Got take it. the, yeah, go back to the home page in a separate tab. Okay. Okay. So here I'll go back to resource type. Yes. Uh, are you back? Oh, oh, oh you just made, made. Okay, yeah. So may, yeah, go up to the top and I have create another. Here. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. Go back to. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So then go up to the top and create a new resource type. Oh, perfect. Okay. So. Okay. Fiber coding device. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Oh. Ah, okay. 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 Is there a limited number of characters for these names? Um, not very limited, uh, and we can make it bigger if you need more. The the yeah, um, more generic, super. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't play with parent, right? No, yeah, don't mess with parent. Yeah. This is a material. Yeah, it's a material thing. As you can you can check the other the other. Okay, so uh, and the the unit of use of this I think is going to be this is a device, and so we may need devices in there. So the unit of use of this is probably going to be hours. Oh, okay. It's so a unit of use. Yeah. So the other ones are unit for let's say for example when you do a process, that unit is. Well, and you're gonna you're gonna use millimeters of of uh, you're gonna use millimeters of uh, of uh, 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 optical fiber. You know that's a. I think I understand your logic here because what you want to see is how resources are uh, consumed and used, right? Yes. Yes. So when whenever you use this optical fiber coating device, yeah, what you want. What you want to know is how much value is created and how much it is yeah. used, right? This yeah. Is so, is, uh, okay. yeah. So, yeah. So, how many of them? Yeah, yeah. Not, it, not how many it, of them? It's yeah. So, look up, look up at the field above the unit, okay? 
and you'll okay so this is the materiality okay this is going to be yeah click on that there should be one that says, that says time based okay time based this is going to be time based thing all right okay so uh -huh. all right so i think what's confusing here it's about uh, you know the, the language it's about definition of these uh, you know it's yeah. the semantics of these these terms yeah. Um, so the yeah, reality, it's always linked to how the resource uh, is represented within the value system. So yeah. if it's if it's yeah. a, a tool or, or equipment, what's important is how much use value you get out of it, right? Yeah. If it's the consumable, it's what is the quantity that you consume? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So it's clear there's some there's some design work that needs to be done on those things. I've got notes to myself. Materiality is the wrong name. Doesn't get the concept, and we probably need a device category. And so you know, so so there's there's some there's some work about cate the the category thing needs to be get in there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I will I will come back with a proposal for categories, uh, not what categories there should be, but but you know what is the how do you define you know what are the how does it fit into the system you know and then you can define your own categories from that. Okay, so so let's um, um, let's go back and and finish you know creating that resource type. So time-based hours, uh, I can put a picture. <coughs> yeah, if you had one, you could put one in. I have one. Uh, All right, okay. Any URL, a description, or whatever, you know. Well, for now, let's, let's just play with this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. URL, this is the, so what we're doing now, optical fiber coding, so we're still, we're still here. Uh, uh, it might be a document about how, it might be a document, right? How uh, you do the optical there's a fiber URL. Coding. Yeah, you could have the URL there. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 wait a second. So, uh, yeah. because we do have a document about the optical fiber coding device, because this is mm -hmm. what we're creating. Cool. Right? Cool. Well, no, we're 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 specifying this as a device to be used in making a mirror. Exactly. It's, yeah. If 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 it is if this is something that also that you make, then you could have a process for making one of these. Yeah. yeah. This is this is mostly <clears throat> about the device and how to. Okay. Uh, okay. So okay. So I let's mean, let's put uh, let's use that as the URL. Okay. So we're here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Description. And, and you, you know whatever. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so, okay. So save that. And now we should go back to this other thing, right? Yeah. <coughs> so did that save? What's happening? Optical fiber. So it's silver coating device. Here we go. We have it. <coughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I, oh, you know what's happening is, oh, okay, now we're there. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna need to go to that other page. Yes. And <coughs> you need to to re reload the page. I'm sorry. That's a that's a that's a that's that's a temporary. Uh, and I go to add another input, right? Yeah. Just a second. Oh. All right. Uh, I can see it. Silver coating device. I can see it right there. <coughs> okay. 
okay, uh, uh, okay, let's do it. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna use this, right? This so is it's the not, using. It doesn't consume, right? Because the, the no, device is still, still gonna be there. Well, it uses. well, yeah, yeah. I guess I would say use on the on yeah. that. Although you're and consuming, you are consuming the time. But either way, I would say use. It's less. It's less confusing. So uses and the unit is hour, right? Yeah. Uh, another question here. <clears throat> since the since this is put in the system as a device, and we already chose, um, you know, materiality is a time-based stuff. Uh, is it? In terms of interface, now this is free. You know, the user still can choose here. But can that be frozen once once the device has its properties? So you know that the uh, unit is time. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So by limiting the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the field of choice, I think it becomes much more clear. Uh, and then quantity here uh, for using the device, they say 10 minutes, so you said 0 0.17. Is that what you said? 0 0.17. Mm -hmm. So this here we describe how much time of this device is used, right? Yeah. It's use value for the device. Yeah. Save changes. Yeah. Okay, so I see it here. So it uses 0 0.17. Yeah. Okay, so the now. Same as time spent. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so the optical fiber already had a source. Yes, it did have a source. Is the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's add a source for the uh, for the time spent. And this 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 I want you to think about while we're doing it because this is one of those places where you've got a bunch of ideas. Uh, click on the add source for the time spent. Okay. Okay. So what you want here is who oh. who could do this, and <clears throat> or 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 this could also be an agent type. You know. In in in, in there was you, you know you you got a bunch of ideas for for how to. How it, this is this is agent right now. This is not agent type, but it might be want to be agent type. So you mean that there is going to be some categorization here, right? Yeah. So what if what if we choose sensorica and then within sensorica we choose the member that does it? Can uh, do that? You, uh, you you can sure you can do that. Uh, um, for now, but basically, uh, you have some ideas about. In some of these cases, it requires somebody with some s some special skills or training or something like that. That's but not in here right now. That's not in here right now. But that's what I want you to think about here. Okay, so let's say if you drill down, it's going to be Francois, which is not a tactus. Uh, but is there value to show the path? So say. Sensorica, and then you add another uh, source within Sensorica, which would be tactus. Is there a value to have this chain there so people can see? Somebody from outside might not know that tactus is a member of Sensorica. And you create a confusion of somebody thinking that tactus is another company, it's a supplier. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's, that's not what I'm looking for here. Where this, the, the, I think one of the things that you want to start thinking about is this is the, you know, those things where we came up with those unassigned uh, uh, tasks on the timeline? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, wh what, th this structure, that this recipe or extended bill structure that we're creating is that is the structure by which the tasks on the timeline get generated. Oh, okay. So, so, so this time, this time input, this will will generate a, a task for somebody to work on this, and and so you you probably want to specify something about, you know, unless it's anybody could do this, you know, if it's not anybody could do this, then you might want to specify what skills or training or what 
what about a particular person would make them uh, 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 suitable, available, uh, appropriate for doing this? And the system doesn't know that. That's not in here yet. But I, but but this is something that I'm that I'm thinking about that you've talked about that I want to add there. So okay? instead of instead of agent, that means that we could have roles here. So somebody well, that play the role well, of the it, it, it would be more like agent type. An agent type could 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 include role or it could include a bunch of different characteristics. You know, it's like what characteristics are there? That would make somebody uh, appropriate for doing this. Okay, so what we have now here are mostly instances of these role types, right? So I need to point to one person, basically. We don't, we don't, you don't have anything as far as roles and role types on this right now, or yes. agent types or anything. It's just like it's just pick an agent. So, so in this case, can, yeah, I choose an instance of that type, right? So I let's yeah. say for example TV. That would be. Yeah. But in yeah. the future, you say that this would be an agent type instead of agent yeah. would be an agent type, yeah. and, then, and then it ties yeah. into the role structure. Yeah. So you say we need somebody that has played already the role of, yeah. uh, uh, you know, chemical engineering. Let's say, yeah, and that person in that role, uh, you can add some other things, other uh, constraints like should have so many uh, hours logged of activity. Uh, Recognized by the community, right? Something like that. Like yeah. Repetition yeah. And, and yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it could it could be agents by, by role. You know, it could be we select agents by role or whatever. You know, but whatever. But somewhere we want to. What we want to have here is is not specific agents. We want to have a the 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 characteristics of an agent that would be suitable for doing this, you know, which could be just a list of people that have those characteristics, that would be okay too. You know? Yeah. Or, I, or it could be the characteristics here. I don't know. I'm trying to think about this. I think uh, I think characteristics is, be is better. Uh, so basically you describe a role and put some restrictions uh, mm -hmm. if, if they apply in terms of, you know, seniority, uh, reputation, and so on. Uh, because you know the philosophy of Sensorica is not to impose work on anybody, is to let yeah. people choose whatever they feel uh, they they can do. You know, uh, within these constraints that you put within these these boundaries. You know, uh, seniority, uh, reputation, and so on. Well, what's what's going to happen here is that is that one of the, or one of the things that could happen here is when we're generating a schedule, if there are a set of agents, you know, people that could do this job, mm -hmm. and the system knows that. Okay, here are the people that could do that, have done this, could do this, have the skills and training and whatever. Then uh, we can send the system can send emails to them yeah. and say, "Look, we have this thing coming up. You could do this. You know, okay, yes, here exactly. if you want it. Uh, you, you know, you know who wants it." Uh, mm -hmm. And and then and then like sort of first come first served, commit to do that. Yeah, that sounds so, good. Yeah. So I mean that's 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 an example of the kind of use. That's not to say that that uh, you know you know somebody that you're going to prevent somebody else from signing up for that. You know, uh, yes. uh, and. Uh, and uh, you know maybe maybe they need to get trained to do it or something like that. I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking about this because it's something that you've talked about and you put some ideas on my head on it, and I want to, and I and I want to pursue those. You know, but uh, uh, for now, this is what you got. Okay, so the time spent, it's going to consume the time. So, is there any relationship here? Yes, you're going to consume the time. Wait a second. So it provides. Uh, so now this is an engine. Oh, that oh, 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 yeah. Okay, this is yeah. This is the agent relationship. Okay, so the agent is going to provide the time. Yeah. Provide. Use provides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, lead time. So this is how long it takes. No, this is how long, this is this the source here is the is the same source form for materials and yes, okay. time. It probably needs to be different, but the, the ignore lead time on on this one. So this and ties you, into the commitment, right? I say, I say, so this time uh, it's like saying 
you know, I can do this in five minutes, but I don't have time now. But I guarantee that I will do it within a, a week. Uh, um, no, this this is not a commitment yet. This is just a this is just this is part of the structure for generating schedules and commitments and stuff like that. Okay, okay. this is at the, all at the type level. I just wanted to understand the concept of lead time. Yeah, it, lead time is in in the materials that you buy. Lead time is something that you guys requested. Okay, because I'm using the same form for sources for right. labor, you know, then you got a lead time here too. It's not yeah. appropriate. Okay, it, but, it but I think it is. I think it is uh, because from my. It could be, yeah, but but that's but that that would be, but this is not, this is not, um, this is not a. The, 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 getting back, you got to get back to the to the type and event and commitment levels. Okay, this is at the type level. Okay, this is not an instance of a task to do. This is. Ah, okay. This is the definition of how, what is required to create a mirror. You know, so you need you need some you, you, you know, so you need that much time and and we could have a sources and the sources are not going to be in, in terms of Tibby, they're going to be in terms this is going to end up being different. This is going to end up being somehow how we just define what are the characteristics of somebody who could do this, not the individual person? All right. What are the characteristics of the? Yes. Yeah, so we. Okay. So this is turning yeah. into a category. Yeah. yeah so what? Yeah. 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 Source. So what? Why don't you make that be sensorica for now, and then and then I will change this. You know, and and I'll come back. So ignore the lead time. Uh, um, the unit of value is just going to be Canadian dollars, so it's type. Just put that in, just because I don't know if it's f required or not. That's okay. You don't have to put value in there now. Okay. Okay. So then, okay. So save those changes. And this is this is this is I'm thinking about this as you do on it. Okay. So so that was probably more confusing than. Uh, than it needed to be, but uh, okay, you lost your screen share again. I see that. <laughs> yeah. Where's my? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see yourself when you lose it. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'm not uh, on the. Oh, page. you're not on this. Yeah, you're not on this page, right? Let me see. Uh, okay. so screen share. All right, got it. Uh, it's over here. Okay. Um, okay. Do you start to get the? Do you start to get the the? Yeah. So so I would right now I would I would ignore the sources for labor because that's going to change. Mm -hmm. Um. It, you, you know. So so. But you might you could put in you know like how much time does it take to do this? Um. The the um. The you asked about you know will the time be added up from the from the uh, 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 from sub processes or something like that? Um, mm -hmm. Not now, maybe later. But okay. but again, these are not actually sub processes. You know they're yeah, they're. they're you know you know they're 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 creating something that goes into something else. Yeah. Uh, uh, what they used to call it is goes into relationships. S uh -huh. uh, which, okay. I'll, I'm gonna uh, goes into. I'll give you the spelling for goes into over here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's that's more understandable. Yeah. Yeah. So did you see? Did you see the chat thing? And the. Uh... That's that's the relationship. It's a, it goes into relationship. You put it in the chat. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. But it. but at any at any rate, okay. So so um. Actually, the 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 output of one goes into the other. Is the yeah. is the you know the relationship between the processes. Um. So um. Let's let's think where we're at. Let me. Can you give me? Yeah, give me your screen share again on the uh, uh, on the that. Yeah, on the. Uh, okay, n now all right. Now you can see all of that stuff. Now, um, uh, I want you to do one other thing here. Go back to the resource type page. Okay. And the the screen share is a little behind where you actually are. So okay, now look at the at the lever and on it in a in a in a different tab. Do the view extended bill. See where it says like the view extended bill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's what other people would see that might be using this as as a guide. Now you notice that that you've got links on the make levers and uh yeah, yeah, I just so want this to compare is, it to the other one. This is this is this is this is the 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 read only version. Okay, but you notice that like a lot of that stuff, the lever, make levers, make mirrors, silver coated device have all got links on them. So you can click on those. Uh, this, is, this is the URL that, that becomes live here. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh -huh. Okay, so we went through the process of uh, creating an extended bill or a recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and this is what uh, the public would, uh, you know, everybody could see. This yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you st if you start the okay, now the the lever will go into the uh, the uh, um, joint type transducer, right? Yes. Okay. So the next thing I want you to do from the from the resource page again is. I'll click on the joint type transducer and click on create create extended bill. Okay, so let's add a process type. And so uh, make joint type transducer. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't no. use parent. parent. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. so so let let's see where we got. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't worry about too much about the details here because you can <laughs> come back and change them. Let's scroll down if there's anything. Okay. So we want to have a quantity of one, we're going to take make one from this process one each. Okay. And then you can save the changes. Okay, so now add an input to make a joint tra transducer, and I want you to select lever. All right, and consume. it's going to consume consume the lever, and it's going to consume one per joint tra transducer, and it's going to be in each. Okay, and save that. So now it's going to populate with everything that we did, right? Yep. Wow, this is nice. So, as a as a process of there. you know uh, building the uh, recipe, I would start with very low level things and work my way up. You can work your way up. You can work your way down. Doesn't matter. You can work both ways. It's like whatever makes sense to you. Okay, that okay. Now that gives you an, that should give you the ideas of what yeah. of what you can do here. Mm -hmm. This is really cool, Bob. <laughs> yeah. I like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So okay. So, but we're not ready for trans Fr Francois right now because <laughs> because yeah. because you you're gonna you, you you're gonna suffer the slings and arrows of the of the uh, 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 code that has not gone through its first feedback loop. 
Yeah. Okay, so we're doing a feedback loop. Now, while you're doing this, I'm noting all kinds of different things. You know, you're noting some things. I'm noting some things. Okay, so I'm going to go through a bunch of changes here. And mm -hmm. so by tomorrow, this will be significantly different. Okay. Okay, and possibly... Uh, 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 well, I, I'm not going to say that, that it's going to be significantly different today because there's a bunch of things I want to do that will take a little bit more time, but, but it will by tomorrow morning it will be significantly different. Uh -huh. Okay, and it will have incorporated a lot of the stuff that we talked about today, and I will, I, I will um, 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 put some I will send you an email and I will also put somewhere you know something about the the feedback loop you know what pro, what we did today um yeah and and what was the, what were the results of those things and I'm not I, I I'm I'm still thinking about if you have I you may have ideas too about like where we should put this so that we have a running log this is not a good place all right because this is this is this is. I want to have the, uh, this to be a separate place. I don't want to get it mixed up with all of your business meetings and everything. You know, I mean, it's good to have a meeting record, but I want to have an. Uh, I want to have a, an ongoing record of what happened in each feedback loop and each version of the system that came out of that. All right, and I'll I'll figure something out. Okay. Uh, and I'll have that out there by tomorrow as a, 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 to encompass, accompany the code changes. So in the meantime, you can keep playing with this, you know, depending on how much time you got or how much interest you got. You, but, you, but I think that you did enough right now to get the basic idea, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so ignore parents, ignore inputs for uh, uh, labor t t input, uh, sources for labor inputs. And uh, um, those will all change. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. And yeah, I uh, can't, but I can't wait wait to share to share this with Francois. So uh, once he finishes his course at five o'clock, we're probably gonna uh, go through another round. Uh, you know, uh, well, avoiding you can... all these pitfalls and just showing him how how it works. Yeah. 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 L let me. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go and. Um, uh, um I'm going to uh, delete that one input that time spent even input the the source for that Okay how can you delete stuff that that that's a good question uh Bob Uh the only way you can do it right now is through the admin part but and you really know how you need to know how where to find it and things like that. It's it's very it's very odd. I will have delete buttons on there too. Right now there's too many buttons on it. The, 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 uh, Lynn wants to do some restyling on the buttons on here. They're they're too obtrusive, and because there will be some other buttons, you know, there's going to be a like you know I want you to be able to not only change the input but also change the resource type here. I want you to be able to add more resource types right on this page, uh, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also want you to be able to delete things on this page. So there's going to be a whole bunch of other things we have to figure out like how. Uh, to, let me how, give it. Yeah. So let me get this. So, uh, like for example, when you're adding, uh, <clears throat> when you're adding a, uh, you know, a, a, an agent, the process, you realize that you need to add the resource type. You don't have to go back to resource type page. You can add it straight from there, right? I do. I do. I want you to do it right here. Yes. Perfect. Okay. 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 Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Okay, I am just putting the list of tools here. Just to remind I know you have some notes, but just to remind you if you want to go back and you can have it from there. Yep. All right, this is a. <coughs> now I'm starting to get it. Uh, the administration, value accounting, agent types. There's probably a resource type here somewhere, right? Beg pardon. What I'm in the question? admin. I'm I'm in the admin account. I'm oh, just, okay, okay. I don't okay. see the resource type here. 
uh, economic resource type. Oh, economic resource type. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's here's where you deleted, right? No, no, but that's that's the t that's the type. Okay, back to the value. Back back a page. Go back. Okay, look at agent resource types. No, that's agent types. That's what I'm saying. You you really got to know what you're doing to uh, to mess with this stuff. It's way too. Uh, but this mm -hmm. is the way up at the top. Agent resource types. That's oh, the relate. That's that's the relationship <laughs> of an agent with a resource type. Okay. That's where I put a whole bunch of stuff. As far that's the stuff that's on that overview. So here, uh, from here, I can find on the right side. I can find what we put in. Uh, let's yeah. say, yeah. Uh, silver. Where is it? Silver coating. Oh, there you go. I found. It. <clears throat> and you can go here, and you can delete or export it. Okay. But right. that there is no there is no source for the silver coating. Didn't we put Sensorica? Mm, no, no, we did not. Oh, we put Sensorica for uh, the le uh, uh, level. Click on Sensorica. Click on Sensorica, and you will see what there's out there for uh, over over there. Yeah, click on Sensorica. Uh, apparently, there there are no there aren't any for Sensorica any any anymore. Um, Did you delete something? I heard you saying you're gonna delete something. Uh, yeah, I deleted the the Tibby, uh, the Tibby, and uh, um, yeah, there are no agent resource types under sen sen Sensorica. You can click Tibby, and you can find Tibby's resource types. Ooh, don't we have any? Maybe there's something broken there. Well, what? what? Something happened. Oh, because oh, because you have something else selected. You you if you scroll down, you'll see you have you'll have something. You scroll down on the right hand hand panel. I have the lever. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Click select all for resource types. Select all for resource. Yeah, un oh, select all. So yeah, select yeah, yeah. select okay. all for. Okay, now we got Tibby. <coughs> you will see Tibby uh, having some some. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Okay, so these are filters. Okay. Yeah. So the the other thing you will be able to do, you know, you see there's some there's some actions there. There's you can select a bunch of stuff to. You can you can add more. You can so click on one of those to change it. But but mm -hmm. but th this is this is the super user interface. Yeah. You okay. know you know so so like I say this is like almost pretty close to the raw database. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's not you know it's not for uh, normal people. But you see, uh, yes. So you deleted Sensorica from here because that, you see, I reloaded this page. Yeah, yeah. And, and yes, you did. Yes. That's why it doesn't appear when we. Uh... Ex exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay, 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 got it. Because okay. I cheated and went back here and deleted it while you were looking at the other page. Because there okay. is no delete. There is no delete button over there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So so um. Yeah. So some of that is you know. Um. Uh, it's um, well. You you you'll uh, that that will all. Uh, I think you. I think you you will you will start getting the feel for all of that stuff and be able. You will have, in the end. You will be able to use the admin interface. You know, but uh, right right now it's it's extremely cranky. Um, yeah. Well, that's something that we all need to. I mean, not all, but some people that you know require some training will be able yeah. to go in there and, and do stuff. 
Yeah. Uh, because that's maintenance, yeah. right? This is maintenance of the infrastructure, right? Well, this is all maintenance of infrastructure, but what we want to have is we want to have um, um, easier to use forms for maintaining the stuff that will make more sense to people and will have more uh, protection from doing things that will have bad side effects uh, and you know so you can see how things go together like this you know because you, you, it would be difficult for you to figure out right now how what's behind this in terms of the the in terms of what's in the administration section on this page that you're working on you know there's a whole bunch of things from the administrative interface that are on this page you know, but they go together in a particular set in 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 particular relationships. Yes. I mean, I can I can you know when, after you get a feel for this a while, I will walk you through all the details of uh, how this is constructed. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't want to do it yet because I want you to get the feel for it first because you like you saw, you know when you di did the, the when you did the extended bill for the transducer how the lever clicked in there you know I mean the, the, the experientially you will start sensing this stuff you will start <laughs> feeling this stuff and then we can go back on the intellectual level level and, and I can walk you through uh, how everything is put together and it will make sense to you because you felt it because you mm -hmm, made it mm -hmm. you created some all right yeah makes sense so, so it's just I'm trying that as a, as a way to do this rather than try to do too much much uh, um, abstract explanation first. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And this is the abstract. This is the abstract enough. Uh, so, okay. So, so it, it, at any rate, I'm I'm going to leave you with this at this point, unless you have any immediate questions, uh, and let you, you you know let you go through it. Some more, uh, and and uh, ping me if you have any questions or run into any problems. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think okay. I think it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna play with it later uh, this afternoon. Good. Because I will have some uh, experiments on that, and uh, and I'll give you Excellent. some more feedback uh, after that. And, yeah, excellent. Um, okay. Well, thank you very much. This is a okay. Well, thank you. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a we're getting a real feedback loop going. I'm I'm excited. Yes. I'm happy. Okay. All right. Okay. Later. See you. Thanks. Yes. Bye. Bye.